game as we get ready. Uh, so who does Sass have left now? Um, top of my head, I'm not entirely sure. But here we go, game five. But I'm also busy thinking about other games and whatnot. So spawning in the bottom right hand side as our purple Zerg from Sass, we have Cute. And over on the bottom left hand side as our light brown Zerg, we have Ox Zerg. I guess we're gonna call it yellow. I can't decide whether or not to call it yellow or light brown or what, but oh it's not Moxie. It's Ox Zerg. with extra special characters. Oxerg, obviously strong old school player, um, became immortalized in a certain Idra quote, something about fire bats and natural enemies, if you guys don't know that. It's a great, it's, it's a great one. It's on par with um, useful skill toy have. And cute, I don't know, I think he's around BB+. Plus. I don't think he's really, he's a good player, but I'm not sure he's ever really become a distinguished player with uh, like super high level results. Someone that you hear the name, you think, oh shit, whoever he's playing is going to get wrecked. I can see he is throwing down the spawning pool. Uh, it's going to be nine pool, probably nine pool gas, as that's pretty common with that. And then it'll just be a question of whether we see nine pool speed or nine pool lair. Uh, Mazur saying he believes cute is much better, I presume, than Oxerg. Um, And we can see it is going to be Overgas? Wait, yeah, Overgas here for Oxerg. All right, so I know Overgas, I'm pretty sure Overgas is considered favorable in this situation. I know it's considered favorable against Overpool. I am not sure how Overgas is considered against Nine Pool Speed. Although I guess we'll have to see if it's actually Nine Pool Speed. Um, starting to mine his gas. We'll definitely see the links being made though. And now we'll wait and see here which one he wants to use his first 100 gas for. It's obviously not going to be saved. That'd be kind of pointless. Uh, probably speed? I would, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be speed. All right, so 9-pool speed it is. Yeah, most Zergs do that, but 9-pool lair is also a build, and it definitely exists. All right, we can see a second hatchery being placed here. Uh, so as long as he holds off initially, he'll have more lings, which, shouldn't, which should even be able to deal with the mobility unless he really gets out of engagements, but honestly he can hold here at his ramp uh, to deal with the mobility issue as long as these first initial links don't do crazy damage, but they certainly have the potential to. Um, it's going to be 6 against 6. How close is the speed? Speed will be almost done by the time he gets there, probably like 3 quarters, 4 fifths of the way to being done. Uh, what was the first set? The first set was on Outsider. It was between Dewalt and some Zerg who got absolutely drubbed, but I can't think of his name. Um, all right, so we, he's getting pretty close to having his speed finished, but I'm not sure he can run here, so I think this is going to be all right for Oxerg. Uh, we'll be pretty comfortable here with his Overgas now, as he did get his second hatch, but yeah, he did get second hatch before Lair. Um, and he's going to have now more larvae to produce from, and if we look at drone count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 2 on gas. So about 9, and the Ling's now threatening to run in. Uh, the arc is pretty good from Oxerg, but there are definitely more Ling's from Cute right now, and Cute has the mobility advantage, but with 2 hatches to produce from, uh, Oxerg should be fine here. You know, Ling, Ling's running by and getting in can be annoying with their mobility advantage, but honestly, Oxerg is close enough to having his own speed that he may push out and put on some aggression, and of course, Oxerg is known for Ling play as well, so I'd expect decent control here from both players, and we can see Cute is going to need to run back. He'll need to put up the Sunken now, and he hasn't done that, and I think he may need that, especially if Oxerg just goes full bore on the Ling production, because Cute uh, does not necessarily have any reason to suspect that Oxerg has a second hatch, and if he doesn't put down that Sunken, okay, he's getting the Spire up, but there's definitely a window here where Oxer can do some serious damage with these lings. So streaming across the map right now. And that is not tight. Oh god, if he were to run in there, he could get a beautiful arc. Okay, so now Cute is set up, but uh, that was a favorable trade for Oxerg, and now Cute has the better arc, but Oxerg with a lot more lings, and he is busting right in right now. Now the Sunken is being thrown down, but will it be enough? The Sunken is getting surrounded, getting attacked right now. Actually, it's not getting attacked. It looks like he's trying to target down drones and the other lings, and they are dying, but they are getting drilled upon, uh, taking a lot of damage from that, and the Sunken does go up. I think he can hold right now, and there aren't reinforcing lings, so it looks like uh, Cute's senses did uh, start tingling in time, and that Sunken finishes. 
and that attack is held off. Now, if we look at the Spire timing, uh, we can see the Cute Spire is actually not that far ahead, so it's not like uh, Oxerg's going to need to spore up or something to live against this. And looking at the drone count, we can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, looks about like 9 or so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Looks like Oxerg probably has an extra drone or two, and he's got a 6 supply advantage, so that's a uh, pretty big advantage right now. And given he doesn't have any lings, we can tell Oxerg is actually just well, well ahead in drone count. But now we've got Cute coming back with a ling attack of his own. Uh, but obviously Oxerg has more lings and uh, sim mobility, so really Cute shouldn't be able to get much done here. As long as Oxerg reacts nicely. Oh, he doesn't react. He actually loses a drone, so a little bit off there. Could have probably saved that. Uh, but now these last two lings are going to get picked off as there are plenty. Oh, we're almost a perfect surround. Uh, he's going to try and go for another drone and won't get it. So now the Spire is up and the little Muta are actually out right now. I hope Oxerg is making Muta. He's going to make Scourge to try to hold this off. We'll see how the micro can be from Cute. If he could micro down the Scourge, it'll be two Muta against one. But we're also going to have a Ling counterattack, although with that Sunken Colony, it's honestly not not that scary, especially if Muta pop close by home. But he's going to send lots over. You can see the Muta are picking off that first Overlord. And now the Ling's streaming across the map. Okay, Overlords from Cute are seeing it right now. We can see everything is pulling back from Cute as he does anticipate this. Drones should be ready to drill over the sunken as needed. Actually, the Ling's get on top. Oh, no, it actually looks like he's going to try to target fire drone. Down drones there, but he's not getting it. Oh, actually, he does get one, though. And now a few Ling's being kind of not controlled, as you can see. Extractors and uh, Sunken's getting attacked, which is not ideal. And now it looks like there are four out from Cute, and it looks like Oxerg is starting to get out some meat of his own. If we look at the gas mining, you can see that Oxerg is actually not at that much of a gas advantage. Interestingly, because he kept two on gas for a while, he's only at about an 80 gas uh, mined advantage, which isn't really that different. Uh, and the Muta count right now favoring Cute, trying to land the Scourge, but Cute's control is fine. Takes care of those two without any difficulty. And now Oxerg just defending at home. We can see an Evo Chamber going up, a Creep Colony as well. Uh, presumably going to spore up here, a little bit worried about Cute's Muta count. Although I think if Oxerg has three, he can probably defend, especially as more are hatching. And with the splash damage being dispersed over everywhere else, he'll be fine. Becomes more significant in bigger battles, but it still always makes a difference. Uh, where you fight, near what territory. Oh, that Overlord, he could go defend it now. It's four on four. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to play to defend the Overlord. Oh, getting off a nice hit. There we go. And just kind of trading shots right now. Oxford keep both of them kind of keep their mutas flying. That's important in this matchup. Uh, actually, does still get the Overlord, though. But you keep the mutas always flying so that if Scourge suddenly come in, they're not stationary and you don't lose Scourge because you're trying to accelerate back to full speed. We see... What? Oh, okay, maybe he feels like he needs to, because he lost that one. That explains why. And Cute's Muta just flying around here, kind of looking... I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for. Maybe just Ling's running out into the center of the map or something. We can see Cute is still just sitting on that one base. I mean, it is even in terms of gas count, so he doesn't desperately need an another base, but it does mean that Oxerc has more larvae to work with. Uh, it's a little easier than to sneak in drones, sneak in Ling's and such things when you have that sort of situation. Someone paid Michael to fix his match. <laughs> foreigner match fixing comes to the foreigner world. That would be depressing. You wouldn't think there's enough money in Gambit's Cup for match fixing. One would hope. One would hope. <laughs> he answered. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Two lings here coming out for Oxerg. Uh, I think they're just going to scout. Obviously can't really do any damage with two lings. <laughs> New roll X plus one lot. <laughs> uh, actually, Cute has two sunkens. That's really, that's kind of extreme. I'm not sure he really has to have that. But he still has the muta advantage right now over over Oxerg, despite the comfortable 10 supply lead for Oct. And yeah, he's finding that there aren't really any hidden hatches. And by really any, I mean there aren't any. And now it looks like Oxerg's going to fly by, and this is worth, this is a bit interesting right now. If these mutas go entirely past each other, Oxerg will have to cancel this, but he does have a spore to fall back on, although one spore, not enough to defend uh, eight or nine. I mean, I think it's five or six that can actually kill a spore. So this counterattack potential is really high right now for Oxerg. You can see he immediately cancels that, and Q should be getting a little suspicious, but drones are about to get ransacked. Shit's about to get real right now. Lots of drones taking tons of damage from the meter. Honestly, Cute has just lost all his drone count, and he's flying back, but he's horribly out of position. And this is a game ender for Cute. I think he just lost. I think he just lost. He has no drones left. And honestly, Oxerg might lose some mutas, but he didn't immediately counterattack the spore, and there's no option. 
No, you probably can't call it a push, but bad habits creep in when I don't have chill constantly hounding about calling it a push. Pushes are technically just supposed to be things that move across the map in a slow, steady fashion. But either way, I think this game just ended. Cute really wants to capture these Muta, but honestly, if you split up, you can just engage. Alright, now let's see. All an Oxer needs to do is bloom the Muta, get back home, and he'll be a little bit questionable bloom as a few of those Muta turn backwards. Uh, there we go. So actually turning one or two of them completely around, but I think Oxerg has pretty much got this game, especially without the larva, you know, cute cannot redrone, and Oxerg can kind of do whatever he wants right now. You can see it is suddenly 41 supply to 21 supply. Alright, so he's coming for a counterattack, but honestly with that spore he's able to defend, we can see he's actually making more drones, knowing he can, knowing that Cute has to drone, he is just droning himself, playing that just fine, and now engaging the mutas at home, fine to do that, doesn't really want to lose this, oh, the spores, the, oh, the, neither the skirt land, they actually both die to the spores, and now it looks like Cute is losing the muta battle too, fighting at a score all of a sudden as it finishes, and this is over, GG Oxerg brings pain to a 3-2 lead over Sass. This is turning out to be a day of upsets, in my opinion. Sass might fall. Uh, Fox made a good run at it. LRM...